Most people choose a website builder based on simplicity or price, but that first easy choice can quietly limit your growth down the road. So in this video, I'll break down Wix versus GoDaddy and show you which platform actually supports your goals over time, whether you're growing a store, running a blog, or building a brand. And I'll also walk you through the one difference that shows up after you launch that can quietly limit your growth as a business. Now, if you're like most people starting a website, you're not looking for a complicated platform right? You just want something that looks good and works well without needing to learn to code or to hire a designer. Wix makes a strong first impression. The setup is smooth and their editor gives you true drag and drop freedom. You can move any element anywhere on the page, tweak the layout to match your vision, and build something that feels uniquely yours. It's like having you know, full creative control without needing to be a designer. And that freedom, it can feel a bit overwhelming at first, but once you get the hang of it, the flexibility is really hard to match. By the way, if you want to give Wix a try, you can go ahead and click right up here to start with their free plan. And just so you know, using that link, which is also in the video description if you need it below, uh, that unlocks the best pricing if you ever decide to upgrade from the free plan. GoDaddy keeps things simpler. So when you start, it asks a few basic questions like your business category and kind of your preferred like style and then it auto generates a starting site for you. The editor is more structured, so instead of moving things freely, you swap content inside of fixed boxes. And that makes it harder to mess anything up, but it also limits how much you can actually customize your design. So which one's actually easier? Well, if you're talking pure speed, GoDaddy probably gets you to you know, a, a finished site faster, even if it isn't exactly what you want. But in terms of usability, the ability to really create something that matches your vision without frustration, Wix comes out ahead. You know, it gives you more flexibility, uh, better visual feedback as you edit, and enough handholding to help you get comfortable without restricting your creativity. So bottom line, Wix feels more intuitive once you've spent a bit of time working in it. And that flexibility that it offers can really make a big difference, especially if you want to update your site regularly or grow it over time. Now, building a site is one thing, but how good does it actually look once it's live? Well, let's dive into the design and customization next. A site can be easy to build, but if it ends up looking like you know, a PowerPoint from 2009, what's the point? Wix absolutely shines when it comes to design flexibility. You're getting access to over 800 templates, many of which look modern, polished, and specific to different industries like you know, restaurants or online stores, fitness coaches, you name it. And because it's truly drag and drop, you can tweak every section, image, and margin. You know, if you want your, your text overlaid on a video background, done. If you want custom animations, you know, when users scroll, just a couple of clicks away. Now, GoDaddy is the opposite. So there's fewer templates, less control, but there's more consistency. So the design system is really locked down. So what you see is what you get. And what you get, it just works, right? It adjusts beautifully on phones and tablets without needing any tweaks whatsoever. And you can change themes, fonts, and colors, but everything lives inside the boundaries of their own layouts. And just like Wix, if you want to give GoDaddy a try for free, you can go ahead and click right up here or check out the link in the description as well. So here's the real difference between the two. So Wix, it'll give you more room to create something custom, but that freedom comes with the risk, right? As you could design it, in a way that just doesn't work well on mobile and you'll have to kind of mess with it to make it work. Now GoDaddy, it keeps you in a tighter box, but that box is clean, stable, and mobile friendly by default. And now design, that's one thing, right? But how much does all the customization actually cost? So let's get into the pricing here. Now this is where things can get confusing fast. So both platforms, they love to flash low monthly prices, but once you start digging in, those numbers really shift depending on what features you actually need. So let's start with GoDaddy. On the surface, it looks like the cheapest option, right? Plans start at around $10 per month, and even their e-commerce plan is pretty affordable. What's attractive here is the simplicity, really. You get a website, a domain, uh, which is free for the first year, SSL security, and email marketing tools, pretty much everything that you need as a small business, right? And that's all bundled into one plan. But there are trade-offs. So features like appointment bookings, uh, advanced SEO tools, or full store customization, are limited unless you go with the more expensive tiers. And once that promo pricing ends, which it does, the cost goes up too, right? Not dramatically, but enough to notice. Wix is a little bit different. Their basic website plan also starts low at $17 a month, 
but you'll need to upgrade if you want more than a basic site. That said, Wix offers more tools in their plans without extra fees. So if you're someone who plans to expand your site, maybe adding you know, booking tools, a blog, or digital products, Wix has more infrastructure for that. GoDaddy is great if you want to get online fast and just keep things really lean, but Wix is better if you see your website as a long-term platform that you'll evolve. So who wins here? Well, it depends on what you value more. So upfront simplicity and you know, a lower price, which is GoDaddy, or long-term flexibility with more investment, which is Wix. But what if your goal isn't just to build a site, it's to really run a business? Let's break down how each platform handles the tools that matter the most for that. So first, let's talk e-commerce. So GoDaddy makes it fast and easy to launch a store. It walks you through the product setup, offers all the basic checkout features, and really keeps everything streamlined. For a solo entrepreneur or someone you know, selling a few items, it's more than enough. But Wix pulls ahead here. While it takes a bit more time to set up, it rewards you with deeper customization. And you can offer digital products, add uh, product filters, customize checkout, and use features like abandoned cart recovery, which is huge for conversion. Now, it's not overwhelming, but it does give you more room to grow. And both work for small shops, but Wix really offers more flexibility if you want to scale. And next is blogging and content tools. So GoDaddy, their blog editor, it's simple, clean, and good to update you know, articles and just write articles. But there's little creative control and no scheduling or advanced formatting. Now, Wix gives you more polish. You can design posts with visuals that match your brand, schedule content, and even build private areas for members. If you plan to use your site to share content or really build authority, Wix is definitely more complete. So for basic blogging, both of them will work, right? But Wix is the better choice if your content is a major part of your strategy. And lastly, email marketing and social media tools. So both platforms, they offer built-in tools, but they're not equal. So GoDaddy lets you send newsletters and basic campaigns all inside your dashboard, right? It's simple and effective, just like everything else. Wix offers more variety. You get templates, basic automation, and integration with site behavior, like you know, sending emails based on visitor actions. Plus, their app marketplace adds tools like chatbots and referral programs. So GoDaddy is great for simple setups, but again, Wix, it gives you more marketing power without needing extra apps. Though, if you do need the extra apps, they're there if you want them. And if your website might grow beyond a digital business card, Wix, it just supports that journey much better. Now, all the tools in the world, they won't help you if no one visits your site. So let's talk a little bit here about SEO and analytics. Now, you could have the most beautiful functioning site, but if nobody sees it, what's the point, right? So let's start with SEO, search engine optimization. GoDaddy handles the basics. You can edit titles, descriptions, and URLs. It also generates sitemaps automatically, right? So for someone who wants to check the SEO box and move on, that's pretty solid. Wix gives you the same features, but adds advanced options like structured data, image compression, and canonical tags. Plus, their SEO Wiz tool really walks you through optimization based on your niche. It's very beginner friendly, but still useful even for pros. And then there's analytics. So GoDaddy, it includes basic site stats. So page views, traffic sources, devices, that sort of thing. It's clean and simple. But for more details, you'll need to connect Google Analytics. Now Wix also gives you native analytics, but they're more robust. What stands out is how it integrates with other Wix apps, like you know, email, bookings, e-commerce, all in one hub. And adding tools like Google Analytics or even Hotjar is easier with built-in integrations. So bottom line, GoDaddy covers the essentials, right? But Wix makes it easier to dig deeper and really optimize especially if growing traffic is a goal, which it usually is. So Wix, in my opinion, gets the win here. Now you've got the tools, the content, the SEO, but how well does your site actually perform? And what happens when you need help, right? Well, let's cover that next here. So once your site is live, two things matter. How fast it loads and how fast you can get help. Performance first. So GoDaddy is known for reliability. Sites load fast, even on mobile, and uptime is strong. If you want stability, GoDaddy checks that box. Wix is competitive, right? So they've improved their speed with a global CDN, they have image compression, and code optimization. Page load times are fast, especially with their newer templates, and on mobile, responsiveness is solid, though you might need to tweak design a little bit more than you would with GoDaddy. So performance-wise, GoDaddy may edge out in simplicity, 
But Wix, it isn't far behind, and it pretty much offers you know, more ways to optimize. Now, customer support. So GoDaddy is strong, right? They offer 24-7 phone and chat, and reps are helpful. Their knowledge base is also solid if you prefer self-help. Wix also offers 24-7 support too, mostly through tickets and live chat. Phone support is limited to their highest tier, but their help center has improved with guides and community forums that are really, really specific. And because Wix's editor is more powerful, solutions might take a little bit longer, but their resources really guide you through it. So if you want fast answers to simple issues, GoDaddy is a safe bet. But if you're building something dynamic or want to expand, Wix has your back, even if it takes a few more clicks. And now let's take a second here to really pull this all together. Both Wix and GoDaddy, they can get the job done, but they approach it very differently. So GoDaddy is for speed and simplicity. It's really great for small service businesses or freelancers who want an online presence without much design. Now Wix is for the people who want more control, right? The design freedom is really unmatched. And while it takes more time up front, you end up with something uniquely yours. Across almost every category here, Wix pretty much edges ahead. Whether you're building a portfolio, launching a store, or growing a brand, you get tools that let you scale. And as I said in the intro, so this is what really matters the most, right? If your website builder doesn't scale with you, it will eventually slow you down. And it's not about which is better overall. It's about which one really fits your goals. So again, if you want to try Wix or GoDaddy, just go ahead and check out the links in the description uh, for the best pricing. And if you still really aren't sure and you're kind of on the fence, just leave a comment and I'll be happy to reply as soon as I see it.